Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. With me, Rob Hale, playing as Ely Forest Keaton. And uh, we found an awesome, um, basically a gunsmith. It's a, it's a gun store, but it's the gunsmith variety. Uh, way up, up here. Um, so, super cool. And uh, we are going to continue looking around and loading stuff into our car and I think it's late possibly kinda late so we may spend the night here <clears throat> if possible or if necessary as well we do have some uh, zombies outside they will not be able to get in um, but I may just go outside to kill them anyway in fact I probably will Because uh, if I'm going to spend the night here, I'm going to need them to stop banging on stuff. So if they should have seen me. Yep, they did. So I'm going to wait. I'll go up here just to get them to slow down. Oh, he just grabbed me. Okay. So I will cut you down. Am I grabbed? Yes, I am grabbed. And I walked on top of this. There we go. So that wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I do have a bite leg, a bite leg, a bite wound on my leg. There we go. Um, oh, I'm gonna smash this. Got a soda. I'm gonna drink your zombie soda. Uh, no, I won't then because I am slaked. It's hungry that I am, and I'm also full up on stuff in my inventory. So. <laughs> Let's see what I can drop off up here. Drop off some guns, which I will do. Um, I've got a book I haven't read yet, so I'm going to read that. I'll keep my water on me for the time being. Psyched about this gunsmith stuff. Very psyched. Okay. Let's go uh, do a little bit more fighting. Should have eaten. I'm gonna eat before I go fight. <clears throat> oh yeah, I've got some meat in here that I should cook up. But I think I'll have uh, some V8. Yeah, that did the trick. Um, where's my open V8? Should have an open V8 now. I guess not. So maybe I'll just have a little snack of something that will make her happy. Um, like some marshmallows. Mmm. Yum. Now she's psyched. Doesn't care that she's in like a apocalypse type setting. We're just kind of walking on over here, aren't we? Gun store, there's a field and a fast food restaurant which we may check out. Okay. Stuff Zombie has seen us. <clears throat> we will wait right here by this bush and hack away. And then move and hack. Ely has got this figured out. Let's go down here. Firefighter zombie somewhere. It's way to the south. I think that's okay. This forms a cross. It's kind of interesting. There's a bloated zombie. Uh, no, I don't want to examine. I want to X examine. <laughs> we have a, an electric scooter. Cool. Do you have a... Um, pickup truck. Do you have a solar panel? That doesn't look like it. Got stuff under the seat here. So do you have gasoline? Do you have anything? Are you diesel or gas? Vehicle tank. It's empty. Those are two. Doesn't look like it. 
Let's continue on. Yeah, no, there's a bloated zombie. That's okay. French fries. Yum. She's just gonna eat those right now. She can. Yeah, nutrition of apes. Let's just keep eating them. Now she's full. So now she's just gonna grab it, I guess. Nice little snack for the evening. What do we have here? Opened plastic cup. This is water type. Vacuum formed cup. Hmm. Essentially trash, it says though. Climb onto this table, just a paper wrapper. Fantastic. Anything in the trash? There's a nice hairpin. And some crap. This window is open. It's a little strange. <laughs> Onion, cheese, more french fries. Yum. Actually, this is the place we should probably make our home. Probably what we should do is load everything into the car and then come here. Uh, we, I believe, took a pillow and everything with us. And we can climb in through this window. And the reason is because of the stove. That's why we stayed in the fast food restaurant in the past as well. So maybe I just... Uh, well, maybe I'll grab what I can. Maybe I'll grab what I can for now. And then later on, I'll just move the rest into the car. <clears throat> Flour. Chicken. This is like a KFC or something, <laughs> I think. It's got flour and chicken and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. And there's a nice, nice exit at the back. Very convenient. Okay, so let's take everything apart in this store that we can. I think we're going to sleep up there instead. Let's drop off some of the stuff we just picked up. Okay. Sure. It's down there. I believe we brought our stethoscope so we can check out this bank too. Sometimes there's some very nice stuff in banks. There's another restaurant down there, but it's not a fast food restaurant. I don't know if that makes a huge difference, but uh, we might be able to get some good food there. I like that there's a forest up here. I wish there was a forest closer to where we lived. Okay. So nothing in this room. Lots of stuff in here. Uh, maybe what I should do, since there's so much stuff, is do the old trick of... I've uh, got so many books I haven't read. This I have read. But this will allow me to make... I can't really make any... Um, ammo and stuff like that right now but if I yeah so if I step away I'm actually curious oops that's not what I want to do I can read that from here let's just do this so this is one two squares away and I can't step on that this I think is like counts as four steps away still read from there five steps away I can still read. Yeah. Uh, six. Seven. Man, how far can I go? <laughs> I can't make all this stuff normally, I don't think. Oh, that's, uh, weapons. Still make a ton. Ton of ammo. Interesting. What if I go in here and close the door? <laughs> oh, because that's not like rifle ammo. Okay, so I can make two. I'm being an idiot. <laughs> and if I come up this close to it, now I can make way more than two, as you can see. If I step over here, still more. Step over here, and that's it. So somewhere in between here and there. So it's pretty far, actually. Uh, so I'm going to pick that right on up. And uh, I'll go like this. All 
And here, let's just move everything. Oh, I gotta move back, don't I? Go. So I know this is not the most exciting, um, but I think it ultimately is the fastest if you really want to move everything. <clears throat> I think this ends up being the quickest way to do it. Definitely putting that suppressor on something. Switch to up. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, ignore. Ignore. What is that? Oh, that's the drum magazine, maybe? So I'm hearing noises. Um, don't totally know why that is. So let's move this up and diagonally. There we go. Now just straight up. Again. Okay. Let's go in here. <laughs> Got a lot of good stuff in here that I'm super excited about. Yeah. Swage and die set. Mm hmm. Was an electric forge in here somewhere? Oh man, so excited. So excited. I want a similar setup to this in her house. I think that would be really awesome. <laughs> uh, nope, uh, all up there and move everything. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, the electric forge, I just saw it. What is all this? Incendiary stuff, rifle primers, is quite a bit. I wonder how much it takes. What, like the rifle primer. It's out here. That's just outside. Okay. Move it south. Uh, yep, that's what I wanted. This should be everything. Move to there. Cool. We're getting there. Everything. And now there. Just about everything's in the car now, finally. Again. So if you take a look. This is all the stuff, this bipod I'm pumped about. The moment I can put that on that uh, .30-06 rifle that I have that, that has a range of like 60, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put the forward sight and maybe a couple of other mods on there. A scope, if I can find one. I don't think that there are any scopes here, unfortunately. Yeah. And I don't think I can presently make any. I don't know if any... I don't know if you could ever make any. Is this the game frozen? Oh, no, I'm in the... Just in the menu. Scope. You can make a survivor telescope. That's a that's a telescope though. That's interesting. I wonder how far. Too large and inaccurate to use the weapon scope, so that's that's not what this is, obviously. But carrying this will double the distance that is mapped around you during travels. So double. I wonder what my binoculars do. Pair of optics with a neck strap attached, useful for seeing long distances. Wear this, and, and it doubles your distance. Okay, so it's the same. So it's a way to get binoculars if you if you haven't yet. So I'm just going to I guess move it all up. Yep, cargo space. Okay, so it doesn't look like I dropped anything. So I moved everything. I cleared this place out, didn't I? This um, this setup is really nice, though. I like this a lot. Looks cool. And, uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind. This this would be like a great home. If I could get a stove in here. Yeah, that'd be cool. This is, is this outside? No, but I got everything in here. Yeah. 
sure did. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go. Oops, I'm gonna go on the map. I'm gonna toggle this as explored because this is now empty, totally empty. This is a garbage, so I might check around. Right, that's what that is. Dumpster, yeah. Oh, I just those were my my mods. I I one thing I kind of it's really unfortunate that I started this on an old one and I don't have like. I don't have more stuff. I don't have more mods attached, um, which I think would make the game more interesting. So I'm kind of curious if it's possible. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to zoom out. It's possible to port just Alien Kit over to. Um, I'm gonna actually just back this in. Cause there's a dumpster over there, so that uh, looks like it lines up pretty well. It'd be nice to have them in a different, uh, in a more dynamic map, I think probably. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so stop driving. There is something coming. A corrosive zombie. Fantastic. Um, car is off, right? Yep. I know there's a corrosive zombie, but I think what I'm going to try to do is run. And... Stop running. I'm going to fight this corrosive zombie standing on top of this bicycle going to, of course, uh, just shot a glob of acid at me, friggin' jerk, tried to do it again, about to try to do it again, isn't he, oh no, bloated zombie might be, uh, I think it's worth it to just take the damage, come on, ah, got me right in the eyes, Okay, there you are. Oh, sprayed acid at me. Zoom in. All right, Ely. Kill him, Ely. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Smash him. I was hurt. Stop smashing. No. No. I don't care. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Alright, he's pulped. That sucks. She's in a ton of pain. Uh, apparently I dropped off my van acid somewhere. And he smashed this goddamn store up, which is the place I want to sleep, although I'd probably just sleep in the bathroom. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Why is this empty? Oh, because I moved everything over to here, right? I didn't leave it. I'm just kind of... I have to check. X. Didn't drop anything off back here. By accident, right? I cannot tell from here. Of course. Oh, I don't want to peek. I want to just look. I want to be able to see... Where's the goddamn back door? Not there. Is it here? Yeah, I guess it must be right here. So I don't see anything. So I think I have everything. Um, get items. How do I... I want to just examine only this storage space. Okay. Has a volume of 221 out of 250 that it can hold. So I don't think I've tried to put anything that was 30 liters in there that would have dropped out. So I think that that's confirmed. I think we're okay. That's cool though. How much? What's how much storage space is left? Um, 280 out of almost a thousand. So we're good. 
We're good. Acceleration is 8 miles per hour. That's abysmal. So, is one of my tanks destroyed? Vehicle tank? No. Just doesn't have any gas in it? That's so weird. Do you switch tanks or something? Maybe that's what you do. Siphon? Remove? Refill? Or maybe you just refill them separately? Hmm. Because the gasoline down here is listed as 76% which is 76% of 60 rather than 120. So I don't know. Do you, uh, is there a way to switch tanks or something? No, that's not what I wanted. No, I don't see it, but... Oh well. Okay, we're in a ton of pain, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna pick up um, I'm going to consume I want my drugs where's my aspirin oh, I thought I saw it for a second control, uh, filter, aspirin how do I not have any aspirin I had aspirin before this is strange. Oh, because maybe I'm not looking at everything. I'm going to switch one to inventory, and I'm going to switch one to all. Now I'm going to find <clears throat> aspirin. There it is. So I'll take the aspirin back into my inventory. And now... Mm, let's find category food. And we'll take, um, we'll take the meat. Um, let's take some vegetables and like onions and like cheese and stuff. And maybe I can make a, uh, like a hamburger or something. Do I have any? I'll take the flour also. Maybe I have to make some bread <laughs> or something. I don't know if I can with just flour though. I don't think I have any bread. Got some rotten cranberry juice. I'm going to take some water in with me for cooking purposes. Alright. Spam. Yum. Alright, so close that. Let's, uh. I'm just going to smash this. I think it's okay. Or maybe it's not. Oh, I'm not damaging the counter. Um, I'm going to get... Nope. I'm just going to go like this. How about that? And I'm going to get my home rocker. I think I've got enough room. I do. I'm going to... No, nope, I'm going to wield. Home record, which for some reason is the only thing without a, it doesn't have a, a shortcut. And I'm gonna smash. There we go. Not so bad. And now let's move. Oh, there's cornmeal in there. Oh, that's right. I left some of the food. Forgot about that. Let's move the two by four. One of the two by fours in there, and let's just light it on fire. Let's use the matchbook. The matchbook, I think, is slower than a lighter. I'm going to eat an aspirin. And now I'm going to try to craft some food. Okay, so I can make quite a bit. Quite a bit of stuff here. So this is cool. Um, cookies. Cooked acorn meal. Interesting. So I have a handful of acorns. And I can make acorn meal out of that. Serving acor acorns that have been hulled, chopped, and boiled in water before being thoroughly toasted until dry. Filling and nutritious. Cool. It's not uh, 
It's not unpleasing to eat. It's got a good nutrition, and it doesn't look like it goes bad. That's cool. I might make that at a later, at a later time. There's a compote. Um, seven days to raw. Ooh, look at that quench. So, mode. What do I have? Peaches. So I can make a compote from the peaches. That obviously ruins the peaches. So it probably trades like... It's got to take water too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It takes a lot of water. But it makes 12 portions. Okay. That's cool. Meat jerky. Salty dried meat. Oh, you can do it with black pepper and not salt. Okay. So I'm going to make some meat jerky, actually. So this is how... This is how... It makes three portions for one thing of meat. Did I... I looked this up before, didn't I? Maybe I just had dehydrated meat, though. Here's cooked meat. So this takes one chunk of meat and pepper. And that gives you 3 times 9, which is 27. And the cooked meat gives you 28 for the same amount of meat. But it rots in one day. And how many meats do I have? I've got 3 or 4, I think. 6. Okay. I have six things of meat. So instead what I'm going to do is make a bunch of beef jerky. Because six things of meat, I'd probably actually eat it all before it went bad. This has an enjoyability of four as well. Versus, I'm just going to search meat. Oh, I can make a meat pie. Hold up. Chunk of meat, and it only takes two flour. I probably have a bunch of flour, huh? Or curry with meat, which probably takes like canned curry or something, right? Uh, canned meat. Or just regular meat. Tomato. Dehydrated vegetables. Oh, red sauce you can make it with. So this is more just like a... This isn't curry. You can make it with curry powder, too, but this is like a... Almost like a chili. <clears throat> So this takes red sauce of one and vegetables. Super nutritious. It makes two portions. And is enjoyable. And it takes five days to rot. Versus the cooked meat. Almost, actually, it's way more than double the nutrition. It's almost four times the nutrition that you get from just one meat. But that's because it takes vegetables and sauce as well so it's about four times and it lasts a lot longer that's cool the meat pie on the other hand only takes two flour nutrition of six and six portions how much of this could I meet make right now is that bec that's because I would run out of flour it lasts three days so it lasts three times as long um, it would use up all of my pow uh, flour, or most of it anyway, but that's kind of okay. When I have a um, flour, I don't think flour doesn't go bad. So once I have like a wheat harvest in the uh, in the summertime, that's gonna be nice. We'll be able to make lots of meat pies. <clears throat> so I think I might make this. So six times sixteen is uh, ninety-six. So this has a nutrition of 96. That's almost as much as the meat curry. It takes much less ingredients, though. Um, doesn't last quite as long. It actually quenches you a little bit, too. Um, and it's pretty enjoyable. So yeah, I'm going to make this meat pie. Oh, she... Oh, a bite wound just turned to an infection. I'm so glad that it has... I'm going to take a drink. So glad that that shows up graphically. 
because I would not have noticed. And I forgot about that. <laughs> so we're sick. So eating right now is not going to be good. Let's uh, go like this. Find disinfectant. Uh, come on, I've got to have some disinfectant in here. I remember I specifically brought along some. Antibiotics. Oh. Seriously, no disinfectant? I am looking at all. I am standing right there. It's not in my inventory. Aspirin is the only drug I have. I think disinfectant is in that category as well. I'll look. I'll do this just in case. Oh. Uh, filter. Nothing. Seriously. No disinfectant. Okay. And it's night time. Are there any doctor's offices nearby? Subway house, 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 restaurant, gun store, hardware store, pharmacy. Yeah, and it's cleared out, but I probably cleared it out a little last time I was up here. That uh, boxing gym is going to have first aid kits. It says it's. I take them all. It says it's explored, so I probably took them all. Restaurant, jewelry store, coffee shop, house, house, house. Damn. Well, I have to go home, I think. <laughs> Furniture store, house, restaurant, house. Museum. Yeah. There's nothing. I need to go home. And it's nighttime. And I got a bunch of crap in the front of my car. <laughs> Which means... I may not be able to drive it very well. Um, okay, here's what I want to do. Did I make? Did I make any of my? Um, I didn't make that food. I guess I didn't make it. Okay. I'm going to drop everything off in there. I'm going to pick up all the food I can. Which I guess I, I've already done that. Uh, I guess I have everything. So, uh, let's go. I'm going to at least check. Um, take control. If I can. Control the vehicle. Let's turn on the headlights. Uh, okay, this is going to be my ability to see. <laughs> um, close. Let's see if this is actually tenable. Regain control. Uh, this is not ideal. Yeah, I don't. I can't really. Can't really see. Hmm. I'm gonna go and stop in this boxing gym just in case. This is uh, not great. I, I, I could have swore. What's, um, what is in the seat below me? I just might as well check. Let go of the controls, get items. 
gallon jug. Okay. That's not what I wanted. So let's go. So I'm going to zoom out even more. Because I need to. <laughs> there is a zombie. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. So as to avoid him. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hit this these shrubs. What is this note? Ah, the minefield too. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I think we're just going to have to like suck up the fact that we may hit some shrubs. Uh, I'm going to slow down. That's too fast. I'm going to deal with the shrub issue and just hit them. This is the survivor basement and the pharmacy. So maybe it's worth it just to double check. I'm almost positive I took everything. I always take I always take uh The items. Stop driving. Okay, zoom in. Yeah, Ely doesn't feel good. Let's go in here. Um, Playboy. What do you have? Vending machine? Yeah, just uh, drinks. Oh, I'm outside, aren't I? <laughs> Clock cotton balls, saline, salted popcorn, great. Chewy candies, bag of pretzels, cardboard box. Um, what are you? Uh, cough syrup. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping and praying I just left something behind. Thinking, well, I've got so much disinfection, it's not a big deal. Right? Right? Well, actually, I'm just going to walk. This is the... It says it's a field, but this should... Wait a minute. So this might be the... How, the uh, Uh, I'm just going to smash my way in. Yeah, this is the, the boxing gym. Please tell me I left something behind. Uh, protected mouthpiece. Damn it. That filthy ass shower. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, nothing in here. What happens if I smash this? Oh. I got a lot of rags and leather and a steel chain. Take it. <laughs> it's actually true, by the way. No, the one the one thing I really wanted to take, I didn't take. I'll drop the rags and I'll get the steel chain. Um most uh heavy bags are filled with um like rags. That's true. Actually. I have a heavy bag and if I unzip it, <laughs> I can see all the rags inside. How do I how do I get out of here? Did I come in the front? I didn't come in the front. Oh, I came in through this window, that's right. Ah, uh, this sucks. Um, okay, let's go back home. That's getting dark. Because it's drizzling. Perfect. Uh Disinfect is there anything else that will clean a wound? Can I make any disinfectant? Alcohol will clean a wound, right? Will it? Do I have any alcohol? Oh, control find. Like what about whiskey or something? I don't have any anyway. Vodka? No. Ethanol? No. 
Um, there is something else. What is it called? There's like there are like powders. I'm just gonna hit activate to use item. Actually, no, consume will do it too, won't it? And I think it'll be a shorter list because if you have a bandage or something, it will it'll be on this list to consume. Sugar is not edible in its current form. <laughs> Doubt that. Sorry if that was super loud. <laughs> Cargo space. Clean water. Um, that's for drinking, though. Um, I just don't want to go buy it by accident. So, I don't see anything for consuming. No. And uh, what about activating? First aid kit. Ah. First aid kit. Six. Lost tool used for healing. Got a weird error. Okay. So that didn't do anything. Um, apparently. And will cauterizing stop an infection? Or just bleeding? First aid kit doesn't work. Uh, that kind of surprises me. I wish I had used it before when it was just a deep wound, because that probably would have worked. Bandage, lighter, screwdriver set, jailer's kit, thermometer. Bandage won't work either. No, I don't want to light. I thought, what if I um, activate my katana? Yeah, I want to cauterize a wound. I'm not bleeding or bitten. Okay. So that's not going to work. Okay. What will the dome lights do? Nothing. Why, why can't I? Oh. I'm doing bad stuff here. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong uh, button. Turn off the dome light. Turn on the eye light? Oh. Okay. Uh, and the headlight. Okay. Zoom out. That helps a little bit, actually. <sighs> okay. This is not going to be the easiest thing, and I think what I may do is stop in these houses if possible. And it's not going to take so long that I think it's going to risk my life. Um, and there's a chance to find disinfectant in there or disinfectant related items. There's some other thing. What is it? Um, I, I can't remember for some reason what it's called. Not disinfectant, but uh, something that does something very similar. Is that the house right there? Yeah. Okay, let's slow down. And turn. Oh, I'm ramming into the wall. That sucks. Let's just stop. Let go of the controls. And I need to get out before that zombie comes this way. Because he will, yeah. And several of them will. And I don't have my katana. I do, but um, I'm not wielding it, I mean. So I'm going to run. Nope, I'm going to run. And now wield. Katana. Drop it. Attack. Is that my home wrecker? Ignore. Uh, yeah.
Maybe I'll stop. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, friends! Mm, run. Kill. Kill. Ah, somebody's got me. Okay. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible either. Smash, smash. Candle. Okay. Smash. Oh, there's my home rocker. The home rocker had a different, uh, I mean, it looks different when I drop it on the ground than when. That's everybody, though, right? That's everybody I killed, I think. I'm, I'm still running. So let's uh, recover a little bit. Let's smash into here. Long string, we have a basement. SD memory card. Yeah, I'll take you. Why not? Actually, I think I want to go outside and look at my car because I think all of the lights are on. How is your power supply? <laughs> Fine. Unfazed. I think I'm just going to leave the stuff on then. Western boots? Oh, Western. As in, like, Western movie. Gotcha. Radiated tomato? Sure. Ravioli? Yum. Am I really that full? Dog food? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Aspirin? Inhaler? No. Long I can't even take a long string. Calcium. Crap. Uh. Just. Ah, uh, God. Oh, the car's still running. No. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave the car running. Um, uh, I can't believe the first aid kit doesn't work for this. It just seems so strange. Okay. Alright, I don't want to take very long. But if I, if I go downstairs... What kind of a basement is this? Marble and to I'll take the tomato seeds. Charcoal canvas matchbook. Lawnmower. Okay, there's a syringe, so I'm gonna look around because there are chances. I guess this is a survival basement. There's bubble wrap on the floor. It's, um, if it is though, it's like a weird one. Horseradish. Two kegs. Um, I wouldn't mind having those kegs. Under the hood we have... This is like a mechanics basement or something? Oh, USB drive with Hack Pro. Okay. Book of Poetry. Crime novel. Crime novel. More steel chains, another lawnmower, more tomato seeds. Okay, I'll take that. Good for making red sauce. Among some other things, I'm sure. Small string. Hickory root. You can craft salt out of hickory root? Okay. And pine nuts? Okay. I didn't realize you could get all that stuff from something like that. Soldering iron, fun book. All right, I don't think that there are. We have those books. Wheat seeds, yes, please. Uh, well, now my arms have deep, deep bites. Do I have my first aid kit still on me? No, I dropped them off. Ah. <sighs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> this is a cool basement. Like a gardening basement. Or something. Uh, like that. 
Alright, well, I'm not going to risk... Well, you know what? I have to get disinfectant it one way or another. So, there's no sense in wasting the first aid kit. Um, okay, let's zoom out. Turn. I'm not running into the wall still, am I? No. So I think it's safe to turn right here without running into the house. What is ahead of me? A squirrel? Oh, this this sucks. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Couple more houses here. Am I right next to them? Not yet. Is that sidewalk? Yeah. I'm gonna pull right up to these houses. Uh, I lost control a little bit. Okay, let's get. Let's stop driving. Still okay on energy. Yeah, no, no problem. Splattered a coyote. Is it coming after me though? Oh, I guess so. Whatever. I don't really care. If he comes to fight me, I'll kill him. Otherwise, I need. Oh, he is coming for me. And so is this guy. And he did that, and I'm gonna go inside. And if he comes for me again, actually he's probably he probably is. Yeah, I'll just kill him right here. And he exploded. <clears throat> uh, I can't see shit. I can see even less than usual. Okay, there we go. There's a shocker brute. Fan. Fantastic. Inside the house with me. That's great. Oops, I didn't mean to do that twice. Uh, he is, does not appear to be in a kitchen though, so I'm going to attempt to find the kitchen. Here it is. Uh, not kitchen, I need a bathroom, don't I? Crap. What do you have for food though? Fast noodles. Ammonia. Yeast. Bread. Uh, what's on the table here? Oatmeal. On bathroom. I'm like really nervous. He should be around here somewhere, but I okay. He's through that door then. Where's the bathroom? Is he really like guarding the bathroom somehow? Yeah, that's how he came in. Crap. Where'd he go? I'm like a little nervous to open this door. Oh, okay. I don't know where he went. He must have left though. Ah, damn it. Nothing. Uh, whoo, okay. Thank god that was not... Oh, wow. <laughs> um, oh, you got a bunch of salt. I'll take your salt. Let's see what kind of basement this is. And it's spider basement, so I'm gonna peace out. <laughs> okay, that's the shocker bird. He is up north now. Is he? Is he in the house? No. So he's moving north. He still has not seen me. So I'm gonna go south. I think it'll be okay. Hopefully he. He doesn't appear to be heading towards. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the, from my car. If I smash that window, will he hear it from this far away? It doesn't make th that much sound, so I think I'm okay. Hope I'm okay. Let's find the bathroom. Here it is. God damn it. <laughs> uh, oh, sometimes there's things in the tub. There is not this time. Perfect. Pitching a tent, we have it. Should probably just get out of here. What? Mustard. It's a pantry. I would love to take that mustard, but I can't. Does ammonia work? Metal tongs. I don't want these metal tongs. Maybe I'll go outside. Drop off. 
some other stuff. Yeah, I don't see him anymore, so I'm taking that to be a good sign. <laughs> um, drop off all this stuff and go back into the house real quick. Uh, I'm gonna keep my oh uh, no, I'm gonna keep my aspirin. Got a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, no. What is happening? He's shocking me. Yes, stop dropping. Okay, let's go. Oh God. Go. 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 Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe. Oh god, we're out of control. Regain. Regain. Go faster. I'm going to actually slow down a little bit. We are just leaving him in the dust. Holy crap. I cannot believe he did not destroy this car. And me. Whoa. That was... Ultra sketchy. I'm just gonna go south. Or just, I'm going home. I'm not. I'm not messing around anymore. I'm not messing around anymore. I mean, ooh, watch out for that boulder, though. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not messing around anymore. I got two deep wounds and an active infection. I'm hungry. I'm very thirsty. We're gonna have to come down off of this infection. I know I ran that over. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, what's in front of me? Spider. It's fine. We need to get home. Um, it's going to take time to come to recover from this infection too. So just, just by like uh, getting rid of the infection, that's not necessarily going to make it so that. Like, I can't, I'm not going to be able to eat, for example. So. Okay. Just going to go. Uh, running over the bushes. Uh, seems okay, though. Seems okay. Running over the bushes doesn't seem to be a big deal. I just <laughs> hit that worm. He tried to get fresh with me. Failed. So there are some houses up here. I d let's just get home. Let's just get home. Then we don't have to worry about the car being in such a bad state of repair. We definitely don't. We know for a fact. Uh, I'm probably damaging frame. Yeah, I have to be careful. Hitting bushes on that left side of the car. Left relative to Ely. Okay, I'm going to turn and start going this way. And there is a crawling zombie. <laughs> but I think I'm just going to go right on through him. If that's the way it works out, which it didn't, we passed him right by. That is fine with me. After all of that, after suddenly getting an infection and two more deep bite wounds and having a very close run in with a shocker brute, uh, I think it's time for us to head home. <laughs> I mean, we got so much stuff. Let's just be real. Like, oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. Okay, we're good. Oh, it backs up really fast, though. Return. Okay, there's a car right there. I do kind of want to go down this road. I think that's fine. Yeah, destroyed that windshield. Okay. We are at a crossroads. 
quite literally. Just gonna go a little south to. Oh, okay. Need to go a little more south. There's a building there. Oh, weed basement. If I want to grow some weed, got it. I saw the note, but I thought it was like a wreckage or something. Going quite slow, I know. <laughs> By design. I do not want to take any risks right now, like driving into a into the river. <laughs> Which would be hilarious, but super unfortunate, obviously. Okay, I need to go even slower now, I think. She is tired, so it's also good for that reason that we are home. There's a smoker zombie. I'm going to speed up, because I don't want to deal with that. Do not want to deal with that at all, if I can avoid it. I don't think, I think we'll be too far gone. He won't, uh, he won't be able to follow us all the way back to the house, I'm pretty sure. Hit that, unfortunately, yep. Let's slow down here. I heard a crunch. Probably because of the shrub. Okay. We're just about back. Thank God. And there is a nymph hanging out right there at our house. So that's super awesome. Oh, okay. Don't want to do that. So I'm just going to stop right here. I am going to stop driving, and I'm going to deal with that. Dealt with. Okay. It's 2 a.m. Oh, man, are we glad to be home. Let's just take care of this infection. Let's just do it. I should be able to go right here. Should be able to look around. And, no, I want to do antibiotics actually. What? What is all that? That is because it's going to make me sick if I eat it. Is that what that means? I'm ill probably. Um, antibiotics. Yes. Uh. Put that in my inventory. And where are you? Consume. Ah. Okay. Drop. Drop the antibiotics right where I right where I stand. We only have five left, so that uh, kind of needs to be a priority of ours, I think. Yeah, she's nauseous. Um, so these bite wounds, should I just try to activate like a... Should I just do first aid kit? If you try to cauterize them, it can make it worse, so... On three. Oh, look at this again. Didn't work. Huh. Okay. Well, she's retching. I know she's very hungry and very thirsty. We could try to drink some water. Um. But the ketchup won't hurt me. <laughs> Um, do I have any water? We can attempt to drink some and hope that it takes care of some of our thirst. Oh, the car's up here. Oh, I need to shut up. Uh, I need to shut 
off <clears throat> all the lights. Turn off the headlights. Turn off the eye lights. How's the car looking in terms of power? 97%, no problem. Uh, oh, actually, I have water on me, don't I? I thought I did. Apparently not. I no longer feel nauseous. Oh. Okay. So I'm actually just going to get my food and make some really quick. Uh, filter. Hello? Category food. I'll take that meat and I'm going to do what I attempted to do before. My inventory is full. Perfect. Uh, let's just drop off. I'll drop off my home wrecker. Uh, all this stuff. Ammonia. Actually, I want to keep the pine cone and the hickory root. Cough syrup. Yep. Uh, I'll keep the salt and the yeast. Keep the horseradish, just in case there's something I can make with that. <clears throat> okay. okay, that's good. We're good for volume now. So I'll do the same thing. Category should still be on food. I'm going to take the flour. I'll even take the sugar. That yeah, didn't load me up too much. I'm going to take all the meat. Take some onions. I'll take... Can I take this gallon? I can. Take some cheese. I'll take all the cheese because it's going to go bad at some point. Uh, oh no. Took Chewy Candies by accident. That's okay. Yeast. Um, got meat, so I don't have to worry about that. Peaches, sure. Bread sauce. I just want to see if I can make anything yummy. I might just eat this cake to feel better about things. <laughs> I'm going to leave the dehydrated vegetables alone. Okay. Because, um. Uh, because they're preserved, so I just, just don't want to deal with that. <clears throat> How are you doing in terms of charge? 70% battery. Thanks to the, um. I think probably that's thanks to the, uh, solar panels. Control vehicle. Let's turn on the overhead light. Nope. 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 Turn off the overhead lights. Turn on the dome lights. And stand here. It's very dark now. So stand here, I guess. And craft. See what I can make. I'm going to try to probably make... Uh, I can make some more canned meat. I'm going to try to make what I made before. The meat pie. Yeah, there you are. Oh, I can make corn tortillas and stuff right now. That's cool. I can make a lot of stuff. That's so awesome. I'm going to make six meat pies. Drink while I do it. How long is it going to take? It's going to take forever. I'm nauseous again. Hmm. No longer nauseous. Back to nauseous. And it's daytime. I stayed awake. Wow, this takes a long time to make. And my bite wounds are infected. Fantastic. So I'm going to consume. I'm going to consume my uh, let's filter for drugs. A lot of drugs. I'm going to 
I'm going to eat my antibiotics. That's what I want. Why can't I move? No, I don't want some aspirin. Although, that's fine. Filter. Category. Drug. Why can't I move? This is so strange. Oh. That's very weird. Um, antibiotic. Yeah. Okay. So that's cleared up. I'm still nauseous. I think. It says recovering from infection, but it doesn't say nauseous. So what if I eat... I've got 36 meat pies to last me three days. Cool. And I have to probably eat quite a lot of it right now. Can I just pick it up? I'm going to drop... Um, a lot of this stuff right now. Okay. I'm going to get my meat pie. I can carry it. I'm going to drink my water. Gallon jug of clean water. Um... Where is my water? Right there. Okay. What's up, Kit? I'm going to eat some meat pie. Oh, there we go. Slaked and full. Yes, please. Kit, you're asleep. Do you have any wounds? Got no wounds. Okay. Okay. So, uh, she's tired. It is super early in the morning. I don't really want to go to sleep, but I think I will. Um, set the alarm to wake up in three hours. I may not. That may not work. <laughs> Body's aching, but that's okay. We're recovering. Yeah. So three hours would be what, like 9.30? I think it was 6.30 when I fell asleep. Let's see if she actually wakes up, because she's still tired. And then we'll try to make it through the day. Yep, alarm clock. As woke us up. Good. So she's not tired anymore. She's recovered some more from her wounds. Things are, things are not bad. Um, although this does remind me that we definitely need to get some more antibiotics. That is the truth. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking that one thing that we need to do is we need to make a gun kind of smith area. Do I have my gun on me? No. Don't tell me like I left it somewhere. That wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a look around. Let's control, find, and we're going to search for all of our guns. We've got a good number. Just in the car. We have, we have plenty not even in the car. But it's this Remington... It's the Remington 1700. Is going to be, I think, my go to. It is heavy and takes up a decent amount of volume. But that's alright. Right? I think that's fine. Let's take a look. The only problem is it's only four rounds, but it has a maximum range of 60, which is like off the screen. It's crazy. Um, does it have. Wait, a very popular and durable hunting or sniping rifle, popular among SWAT and US Marine snipers. Cool. Uh, high, highly damaging, but perhaps not as accurate as a competing Browning BLR. Okay. Um, I'd be happy to find one of them, I guess. Does 62 damage with the present ammo that it has, which which is uh, four rounds of standard 30 out, out six Springfields. Um, they also do a, a armor piercing of 10. So this is a nasty gun. I mean, it's it's, it's nice. 
it's, <laughs> it does a lot of damage. It has an intense aim. And I should be able to mod it out pretty well. I might even be able to... I, I, I think um, the um, silencer, I don't think that causes a problem with the, uh, like, damage it does or range or anything. Um, even if it does a small amount of damage reduction, Siler, I have a silencer. I know I picked up a silencer. Category mod compact suppressor. There we go. We've got three. Okay. So here's all my um, here's all my mods at present. Uh, I can probably pick them all up. I think I will just to see if there's any of them. I don't need all of the compact suppressors. Bipod. I'm I'm excited about the bipod too. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. This suppressor... Uh, handling modifier plus two. Oh, that's bad. Really? Makes it harder to handle? Maybe because of the weight? A suppressor reduces the amount of noise and muzzle flash generated by the report of a firearm. Gunfire is extremely loud and can damage your hearing without protection. A suppressor will bring the uh, loudness of a report down to generally safe levels. Okay, so then I don't have to keep taking my helmet off and putting the headset on, so that's cool. Um, and so I guess that's it. It reduces the handling a little bit. Handling modifier plus two. So can I put this on my gun? Or do I need... Really, you shouldn't, because they, they should be able to just basically screw right on. So I shouldn't need the guns of two in order to do it, but let's try that. Oh, huh, I attached a suppressor to my Remington. Sick. <laughs> let's see. Suppressor. So it has one muzzle mod, and that is a suppressor. So it tells you right down here. Um, so handling... Handling modifier of plus two. Maybe that means like um, the time it takes to like wield it and stuff like that. It did up the volume. That's okay. If this is like my primary gun and then and I use the katana for everything else, not a big whoop, right? I'm curious how much uh, noise it makes. We might find out. <laughs> Let's see what else. Uh, the bipod I'm super interested in. That might do the opposite. Handling modifier plus 18. So plus 18. The other one said plus 3. Hmm. Uh, this does have a minimum requirement of weapon too, so I don't have that yet. Bipods are commonly used on rifles and machine guns to provide a forward rest and reduce motion, although they greatly improve handling. Yeah, okay. So I guess the plus handling modifier that's positive, that's a good thing. It was yellow, so I wasn't sure. Although they greatly improve handling of recoil, they're usable only in cert on certain surfaces and are slow to equip. I wonder what surfaces they are useful on. I mean, grass should be fine. They're useful on grass, on, on f like a floor, and on asphalt. I mean, that's most of the surfaces I'd probably shoot from, right? <laughs> um, I should be able to take it off, though. What's the difference with a compact suppressor? It's only handling modifier of plus one. Compact suppressor designed for pistols. Oh, it's just for pistols, that's why. Best to use with smaller calibers. 
Forward grips, that requires a plus two, but that's a handling modifier of plus six. Cool. I'll put that on when I can. Not, a, not as effective as a bipod, but usable under all conditions. The location of this is the under barrel. So I wonder how many under barrel accessories I can have. One. Okay. So I'll I'll, I'll use the the bipod and I'll see. Or maybe I need to do some research to find out. Because if it makes it so that I can't use it on grass or something, then it's then it's useless. But uh Okay, let's look at the ooh, lightweight replacement furniture. So this reduces handling. This basically will counteract the um, the handling modifier minus two. A set of lightweight composite grips and furniture that reduces a firearm's weight, and as a consequence, it's handling and melee damage. So because it's lighter, it has a bigger kick, maybe? That might be what that means. So this minus two might be bad, but it weighs less. The gun ends up weighing less, so it's easier to carry around. It takes a weapon of three to put that on. Uh, and ported barrel. That is a weapon of five. Weapon skill of 5. Okay. Dispersion modifier plus 15. Handling modifier plus 4. Ported barrel redirects exhaust gases to compensate for muzzle climb. Improves recoil, but increases noise and reduces accuracy. So if that plus 15 dispersion is bad. Um, compensate for muzzle climb. Redirects exhaust gases to compensate for muzzle climb. So when you fire a gun, because of the the direction that the gases are uh, expelled, which is of course through the through the uh, front of the barrel where the bullet comes out, that causes the gun to move, right? Because the other gases that are inside the barrel, let's say, are moving backwards. And that causes the, the gun itself to move backwards as the uh, gases actually exit through the front. So this barrel has a port somewhere. I've never actually seen a ported barrel in real life, but it has a port somewhere to have the gases probably come out, I would guess, through the top. <clears throat> um, yeah, probably, th probably through the top to cause... Actually, I think... The I think I have seen a ported barrel. I think it's the ones with the, the holes in the end, but I'm not totally sure. Anyway, I would assume that most of the gases would want to come through the top so that the uh, the kick is smaller. Um, but while it does that, so the recoil is less, uh, but it makes it louder. And it reduces accuracy, so I don't think I'm going to mess with that too much. Um, I thought that that was better, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's wield a gun, and let's see if we can't find something to hunt real quick. Let's go. I'd like to work my way up to this gun store eventually. And there's a hardware store there as well. Um, and a jewelry store. Good place to get um, silver and gold. And a subway station, which is, which is nice, but gas station, electronics store. So there's lots of good stuff up there. So I'm going to head up that way. On foot. Um, I'm not going to get there. <laughs> Um, because I'm not prepared for like a trip. But what I will do is 
look for zombie dogs to hunt. So he is 60 away, which I think is, is that our limit? Yeah. Uh, no. I'm actually pointing this at a cat right now. Uh, come on. I, I don't, yeah, zombie child, fine. Oh, there's a crossbow bolt from Kit. There's a tough zombie, a zombie dog, and a zombie child. And they're probably chasing that cat. Uh, so let's see if I can fire. I'm going to cycle targets. Let's fire at the tough zombie. Um, if I precise aim, looks like my total chance to hit is somewhere around... Uh, 20, 30 percent. It's not terrible. I don't think I have any rounds on me though, so I may want to just wait. I'm assuming this is going to go up. Yeah. No, don't stop aiming. There aren't a lot of zombies there actually. Um, oops. Uh, should we save this cat? I think we're gonna. So let's take out the tough zombie, I guess. Fire. I still tough zombie, yep. Fire. <laughs> 12 damage. Sound was 256. Doesn't seem to be... Oh, impaired hearing. My ears are ringing. I do have the silencer on here, don't I? Yeah, suppressor. Okay. Fire. Fire. So... I can't... I probably can't reload this, or can I? I don't have any, no. So let's switch, actually, to the katana. Wield. Store that in my inventory. Uh, they didn't kill that cat, did they? Oh, they did. I think they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of them see me. Most of them see me, so I'm going to move away. How are you? Electric scooter. You are beat up. I might use you. I can hear again, okay. So the suppressor helps, but not enough, I don't think. You gonna walk on there? Yeah, I don't care. Come on, there you go. Nope, it's fine. Attack, attack, attack. He did manage to hit her, but uh, she dodged. Good job, Ely. These zombies have been dead before. They won't come back this time, though. 29 damage mutilates the zombie for 53 damage. How's her rifle skill now? Marksmanship is uh, went up fairly recently. Like, fairly recently, it looks like we're at 94%. Um, I really want that to go up, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep working on it. Not right now, obviously, because we're out of ammo. But I do want to kind of just take a peek. What is that? Zombie child, no problem. Just want to see kind of how far along we can get here. Oh, there's a pharmacy right there, though. Don't believe we've been in. It may go to now. How are we? Now oh, we're pretty full up, so it's not really. Plastic bag of crack. Okay. <laughs> it's not really uh, Ely's thing. 
but uh, we'll take it. Oh god, <laughs> she chopped. It's got mangled just from the hit. Um, I'm gonna eat your milk balls though. Yep. Thank you for that, baby zombie. And the milk balls uh, have way overcompensated for the killing of the child. That's the great thing <laughs> in this game. It's kind of funny the way it works out because you, get, you feel guilty for killing children, but the children always, pretty much always, have candy on them of some kind, and so the candy boosts your mood to compensate for the killing of the children. It's kind of hilarious how that works, if you ask me. So, um, yeah, this part of town is pretty... Okay, I was about to say it's pretty clear, and then all of a sudden there's like... a bunch of zombies. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for us today. I want to thank you for joining, though. Um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna begin setting up a whole gun studio in the house, I think. Uh, that's something that Ely is going to be working towards. Um, we're going to be... We're going to be looking at the ability to make more ammunition, um, more gun mods, and things that might uh, benefit her from her kind of long-range shooting ability. And she's going to try to develop the ability to be a sniper, which would be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So I want to thank you for joining, and uh, we'll see you next time. Rob Hale, over and out.